Marami kasing nababasa ko sa social media na pagkausap daw ni Michael Yang si Presidente, walang interpreter. Ma- Mr. Michael Yang, do you know how to speak Tagalog or English? Ah, uh, Ceban, nika so mo na hindi rin kasi o putong na jantan na jiao liu wu hui. Kasi jese so pore o pusing ingwen gen Tagalog. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, pinapasabi po ni Mr. Yang na in terms of uh, Tagalog, in terms very basic lang po yung alam niya. So yung mga, mga social yes, communication, tama. yun lang po yung mga English, kaya. English. How about English? Does he know English? Oh, yeah. English hindi po, Mr. Chairman. No, no. Bisaya. Bisaya. No, <laughs> hindi rin po. Kamay, konti lang. Konti lang po. Okay. The, uh, uh, so Mandarin only, Mandarin. Uh, okay. Mandarin only is the language that you understand and read and write. Speak. Ah, you. Uh, Fukien then po, Mr. Chairman. Fukien, okay. Now, I have first question. Have you ever influenced any government official or office to select or choose a particular supplier in a government procurement? Can you translate? Uh, Mr. Chairman, yes. uh, we have prepared kasi po a, a statement. Is it okay if we... No, no, no. Uh, read- uh, this, these questions will suffice. It's only four questions. Please, uh, please uh, okay. I hopefully he can give me... It's not going to take long. It's only four questions. I just want to hear his answers. Did okay. he, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, can you repeat the first question? I apologize for that. Uh, have you have you ever influenced any government official or government of office in any procurement process? So, uh, government的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门的部门
two may more. So Number two ones. question, na uh, Mr. Michael Young. Farmali Executive Lincoln Ong has stated on the record that you acted as guarantor in their supply agreement with the government. Is this true? Okay. So, Mr. Chairman, uh, yes. according to Mr. Yang, uh, yes, sir. Uh, according to Mr. Yang, uh, when 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 they approach him, diba, when they already got the order na, na malaki daw, they oh. approach Mr. Yang uh, in terms of referral ng mga suppliers, so which he did, and then eventually Lincoln expressed that they do not have the financial financial capability. Kaya po uh, si Mr. Yan nagpakilala ng mga friends who could support them in terms of their finances. So in terms of that, parang si Mr. Yan naging referral uh, sa mga friends niya papunta okay. kay Lincoln. So hindi niya pera yung ginamit sa paggarantor. Sabi na, my friends give money, ah, finance. Pera ba niya o hindi pera? Hindi po pera niya, but rather yung mga pinakilala po niyang mga kaibigan, Mr. Pang Chairman. Kailala. Okay. Sir, what's your name? Interpreter, what's your name? Uh, Garrick Hung po, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Garrick, raise your right hand and uh, look, look to me directly on camera. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you, God? Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Baka kasi mali yung interpreter mo eh. Sinasabi niya iba, tapos sinasabi mo uh, iba. Diba? Uh, Mr. Michael Yang, uh, do you have any documentation that there is uh, a deal to finance between your friends and uh, Lincoln Ong? Is there any paper? Okay. Uh, Mr. Chair, according to Mr. Yang, uh, there is a contract between Lincoln and yung mga pinakilala niyang friends. Financier. Uh, financier. Tama? Yes po. Uh, sila po yung nag-help mag-advance ng mga payments na kailangan okay. nila, Mr. Ang tanong ko, Sir, Mr. Michael Yang, in the Senate, you admitted that you, in the Senate, somebody, Mr. Lincoln Ong, said you lent money. Yeah, sure. Money, Mr. Lincoln Ong said that now you're saying it's not you but your friends. What is the truth? Yeah, in actuality, po, Mr. Chairman, uh, it's the money of his friends. Po. Okay. Uh, Mr. Michael Yang, are you rich? How rich are you? <laughs> Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, ang sabi ni Mr. Yang, uh, he's yeah. been doing business dito sa bansa. Ano, what kind of business? What kind of business has he been doing since 1990s to present? What kind of business? Okay. Okay, Mr. Chairman, ang sabi po niya, when he first came here, he was doing mga trading business and then eventually sa Davao, he was able to do some leasing ng mga properties and then now meron siya mga konting real estate projects. Okay. Kasama ba ang illegal drugs dyan? Tupin, tsay po tsay fan. Kaya so, o, yaw si Tupin, kaya so, o, chong ay zay Dao, zay ma to lian, da jia do ji dao, Dao, Tupin si, zay ma yang ke, o, yu zay Dao, zay ma hui zo Tupin. 
Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Yang would like to say na uh, taga Davao po siya and we all know naman na very strict at very mahigpit dito especially towards Ayo. drugs sa Davao. So, okay, and then si President uh, back then na si Mayor Duterte po nag-warn din po sa kanya na uh, wag papasok sa mga ganitong klaseng uh, aktibidades kung hindi uh, malalagot po siya kay President. Okay. Uh, Then, ano, Mr. Yang would like... Eh, ito lang one word. Ano ba, ano hmm. ba interpreter, ano ba ang, ang no sa Fukien? Ano ba ang no? Anong, anong word yun? Uh, oh, sure. Okay. Mr. Yang, are you involved in illegal drugs? Yes or no? Okay. There was a warehouse na sabi ni Colonel Asherto na raided by AIDSOT at Illegal Drug Special Operations Task Force ng PNP noong 2004. Sa'yo daw po yun. Is that your warehouse raided? Uh, hindi po. Uh, sa Manila po siya. Hindi rin po siya pumunta sa Cavite. Wala siyang warehouse doon. Okay. So thank you. Thank you very much for your time and uh, I hope you keep on attending. Hindi, ko, hindi, ko, uh, hindi kita bubuli. Hindi ko ikaw ibabadger. We are just want the truth. And, uh, thank you. To tell you to tell uh, the story. You, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. 